turn it on? Can you turn it on? That's what I have to plug it into, that battery. And then this here, we're called the Raspberry Pi. This is the actual solar cell. This is a little computer that all the content, all the videos you guys watch, all the Wikipedia pages, all the other activities you guys do, that's where it comes from. And then you guys already know, if the red light is on, that means the solar cell is on. The tablet, which the tablet was open for access early on and got stolen and then returned by a parent. So since then it's kind of been on lockdown. Some of the teachers use it sometimes, but it's only within the confines of the classroom, otherwise it's a little missing. Um, but you get access, so we here, uh, and we have computers, but other schools like Sofia Solo Solo, they don't have as many computers as we do, so they use these tablets. A lot of you guys have some of these at home, the regular tablets you have at home. Yeah. You connect it, right? You connect. Some, sometimes you guys bring it to school, and you could connect it to the solar cell, and you access the solar cell the same way you access it here from the computer on your tablet. So we have two of these because we got one from Kelatin, the one that they gave me last year. The solar panel, which you guys, I showed you guys what this was when we first introduced this to the solar cell. We don't really use it here because we have reliable electricity, so I just charge the, the battery because it would take too long to keep on the sunlight and charge as opposed to just plug it into the wall. And they use, the solar cell is being used every single day. And when you have 15 or 16 kids on it, the battery will waste, waste immediately. So it's just easier to plug it into the wall. But anyway, the solar panel, this is what's on the back of the, the solar cell um, little box. And that's what we use to charge the battery. So we put it out in the sun, and the electricity goes through the panel into the battery, and then we plug the battery into the solar cell, the, the Raspberry Pi. So we'll just go over this, but I know you guys know it. We connect down at the bottom. Where where is the Wi-Fi? Where do we connect for the Wi-Fi? The bottom where it says. What's that little thing called down there? That button you, you, you click to find the Wi-Fi. Hotspot. Hotspot, yeah, I think it actually comes up as hotspot on yours. On my computer, it's called network connectivity. You're right, I think it says hotspot on yours. And then you wait till it says connected, and then you go to your Internet Explorer, and you type in the 10, 10, 10, which for most of you, once they flip, put one in, it already opens up immediately because that's all they use on the internet. We don't have internet at I don't think any of these schools. So there is like there's an intranet that mess the Ministry of Education provides, but it's spotty and it's mostly useless. Um, but this school doesn't even have, even have that. So this is their only um, access, their only way of experiencing what internet search engine per se would be like. And of course, this is what you see once you type in the 10, 10, 10 onto your, your Internet Explorer, all right? So, guys, open up your computers really quick. Uh, we'll go over this while you're opening the computers. The rules, obviously, we have your phones that we let the kids sort of rent out. They sign out and let's use them. If you're watching a video, you have your earphones on. I don't want to hear 50 videos at once. Do not download any of the files to the laptop. All right, you don't need to download any of them. You can just access them through the solar cell. We take a lot of memory on these computers. Um, you can't take any part of the solar cell with you. So even if you sign out the tablet, which the kids really aren't allowed to anymore, um, and there's no need to with the computers, they know those don't leave the classroom. Neither does the Raspberry Pi, neither does the, the solar panel. The teachers know that as well. It does not leave the classroom. Um, so yeah, you must sign out either the, the earphones or the tablet. And before or after school, the solar spell is free reign. You can do whatever you want. But during class, you know, usually we have some sort of assignment. They can use it, but they're restricted on what they can use it for. Because otherwise, they will only go to the Samoan videos. Despite the fact that there's a world of information, they just want to watch the same five Samoan videos on the computer. Alright, so most of you, let's not turn it on. Switch with most of it and we'll plug it in to charge. Moses, sit over here, please. Take your computer over here so Father can charge. Um, 
Open up the Internet Explorer. Most of your computers should already be connected, but check. Make sure it's connected to solar stuff. And it's on, it's not even. Might not be connected. Alright, give it like a minute and it'll show up. Just make sure it's connected and then open up Internet Explorer. We have a quick little assignment. Which you guys did before, but now I changed up some of it. Is yours working? Um, who needs the, the keyboards? No, whose computer needs the keyboard? Not who wants the keyboard. There should only be two means. There's only two computers with keyboards don't work. Now, Fox? Are you sure? Check. Make sure. Remember, it's only two computers with keyboards don't work. Just click on search. Try to fix that. Yes, here's one of them. Thank you. 